What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Be sure to check out the new affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They make gaming chairs and office chairs. I have their information linked down in the description below. In this video, I'd like to go over one thing that I really have found that it was exciting that I wasn't expecting to be in the game day one. And that is a challenge style system. We, do, we did know we were going to have daily challenges, but there is also a, a, a challenge style system that's called Missions. And when you do these missions, you unlock XP rewards, uh, weapon variants for doing a certain amount of challenges or completing a certain challenge. I was not expecting any kind of cosmetic items to be available yet, you know, that we could earn just through playing, but that is not the case. So, well, I was wrong. <laughs> I was way wrong. I just did not expect this to be in the game, but I do find this very, very exciting and just makes the game seem even more polished considering we think about back to Black Ops 4, we did not even have leaderboards avail available for the game forever. People are talking about how the people that are already got in to be able to play the game are talking about how polished the menus are. And now that we do have a reward system that's going to give out cosmetic rewards already day one, that is pretty exciting in my opinion. It looks like Infinity Ward and Activision have gone in and done a lot of work to get this ready for launch day. I will link this article down in the description below so you guys can read over it for yourself. But the new missions provide a direct path to unlock new content rewards it says missions are multi-step challenges that can be completed for xp rewards and bonus special rewards at launch there will be a set of missions that you can choose and activate you only can have one mission active at a time each mission challenge will have between five to eight objectives completing each objective will earn you xp bonuses or a cosmetic item every single mission challenge has a final loot reward of a special cosmetic weapon variant the cosmetic weapon variant is different for each of the mission challenges you complete. It says objectives within each mission feature different things like getting 30 personal radars or 30 kills with assault rifles, providing additional things to work towards in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And again, they wanted to make sure that this was stated. This is all just for playing the game. There's no other way you can earn this, just by playing. They've already said that there's no COD points available in game yet, so you can't go spend anything to buy anything. This is just available through playing, and I think this is a very cool thing to have on day one. Also, they went ahead and talked about for people in the future that come to play the game. This was one issue I had with Black Ops 4's Contraband stream, one issue I had with Call of Duty World War II's, uh, you know, kind of uh, loot stream. They were better than just straight loot boxes, but if you did not get to complete it, or if you did not get to participate in a certain event within those two games, those items were just pretty much gone. You might could get a lucky chance of getting them out of loot box, but that was very rare. Within Modern Warfare, it does not matter when you buy the game. They said those uh, you know, skins, cosmetic items, and things will still be there if you bought the game on launch day or if you buy the game at Christmas or if you buy the game next year. Uh, so all the missions we get now for the weapon variants for the cosmetic items, someone that buys the game, let's just say, for example, next fe February, will still have the option to get those rewards. And I think that is one of the best things that they have done because I always thought it was unfair if you did not have time to play or you just weren't around the time things were going on from season to season or event to event. Uh, you do not get to unlock those. So now that you can unlock them no matter when you play is a great bonus in my opinion. Also, guys, there is an option from what I hear. Uh, this is not 100% confirmed, so don't take this and kind of run with it or you know, kind of take this with a grain of salt. But I do hear there's ways to earn double XP tokens in game. Now, I did make a video yesterday talking about Mountain Dew, Doritos, certain companies uh, in, in, all over the world and, and in the U.S. doing, you know, kind of promo things. You buy certain products, you get double XP codes for the game. Everyone right now that's playing is stating these double XP codes are uh, kind of real time. I've even seen a lot of websites posting that this is true. So if these are real time, what that means is if you have a 30 minute double XP timer going, uh, if you're sitting in the lobby, the timer is still sit counting down. If you go step away and go make you something to eat for 10 minutes, you've lost that 10 minutes. So just be aware these are real time. It's not like past COD games where the double XP counter was only going in game. These are real time. So if you turned your game off, even you would lose that XP that you had left. So. If you do have double XP codes from some company or if you get some type of double XP within game, make sure that you're uh, setting time aside to play so you don't lose all that extra double XP because these are, like I said, in real time. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked the video. I hope it helped you out. Of course, if you liked it, make sure you do hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. 
If you have time, share the video. It does help the channel out a lot. And click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.